fabricate with F. To fabricate is to make. Very often, though, it means to tell a lie. To fabricate a story is to make a story a false story. A fabrication, it often means a lie. I just used the word today. Fame, of course, uh, renown, <laughs> more difficult, uh, to become famous. Farce, a word I use ten times every day. A farce is really a comedy on a low level, meaning stupid faces, uh, pie-in-the-face humor, as we say in English. Stupid humor. In other words, it means a, a situation which has become ridiculous. It should be serious, but becomes ridiculous. As in, what a farce, I say regularly. Facsimile, I think we were here before. Oh, I see. I'm. I better move on because we made a. I made this line. Sorry. Uh, fetish. <laughs> to have a fetish. To have a fetish, means, to almost to be uh, bizarrely interested in something. Uh, now this often means deviant uh, behavior uh, sexually. Uh, in any case, to have a fetish for something uh, is to be as, to find pleasure, special pleasure in that something, but very often it's something odd. A fiasco is just like farce from before. Uh, farce is a better word, I think, but fiasco means a situation which deteriorates into something ridiculous. A fiasco, uh, a plan gone wrong. Fidelity is faithfulness. Filament. A filament is a small... Um, oh, what? Uh, a small... stringy thing. <laughs> Microscopic in size, I think. Um, I better skip that one. It's a biological term, I think. A financier is a person, usually a man, who finances some venture, who puts up the money. He's the fin financier. A fixture is something that's fixed, that is stuck uh, hard someplace. Now, it's usually used as, uh, even in the language of sports, uh, he is a fixture on some team, means he is a key player, let's say. Fizzle. Something fizzles out. Now, something can fizzle. For example, uh, a candle, when it burns down, finally uh, fizzles out. That is, the flame dwindles into nothing. Or picture a firecracker. One lights the firecracker, but then the fire fizzles out and the firecracker does not go off. It's pretty common, so something that fizzles out. Flagrant means remarkably bad. A flagrant violation of something is a bad, obvious and bad uh, violation of something. Obvious and bad. Flamboyant is showy. He is a flamboyant uh, public figure, meaning he, like Dennis Rodman, uh, attracts a lot of attention, dresses in a very odd and showy manner, flamboyant. Flattery, the verb to flatter, flattery is uh, what happens when a person says to someone, oh you're wonderful, you're a genius, you're, uh, you're uh, so handsome, you're so beautiful. All this is the language of flattery. Flighty. Flighty tends to mean the same as fickle, which perhaps should be here, because fickle is a better word. A person who's flighty cannot be counted on. The person changes opinions, changes uh, behavior all the time. Flimsy. Weak. Fra frail. Flimsy. Uh, that was a flimsy defense. That is, uh, you say to me, you're lying, and I say, well, I don't think so. That's my flimsy defense, weak. To fling is to throw. A fling, in kind of slang, to have a fling uh, is a brief affair. 
love affair. Flippant, very good word. Uh, too casual, too uh, dismissive. That is, if he is flippant about something, uh, someone tries to talk about something personal with him, but he dismisses it. Oh, that's nothing. <laughs> I wasn't serious. That's flippant. Florid. Uh, like a flower, uh, it's from the same root, uh, flos floris in Latin, but florid means very healthy. Um, we get the word florida from this. Uh, flowering, but uh, very healthy. Almost too healthy. Rosy cheeked, for example. To fluctuate is to change constantly. Uh, the dollar and the dollar rate and the, or the dollar one rate fluctuates constantly as any currency, as the rate of exchange between two currencies, currencies uh, fluctuates all the time. Fluffy, not a serious word. A fluffy pillow is uh, full of air and light. Uh, fluid. The noun, of course, uh, water is a fluid. Uh, anything one uh, can drink or anything that pours is fluid. If an adjective, the dancer's, action, the dancer's motions are fluid, that is, flowing, graceful. Foible. A foible is a bit of odd behavior. Uh, a mannerism. Uh, that's odd, uh, almost people laugh at it. It's his foible. To forbid is to prohibit. I forbid you to repeat that word again. Uh, he forbade me to enter that room. That room is forbidden territory, PP. Forecast as a verb. Uh, he forecast rain tomorrow. Notice the past tense is also forecast. Uh, forecast, forecast, forecast. Uh, uh, the forecast as a noun uh, is for rain tomorrow. To foreclose, normally used of a mortgage. Uh, you should know about mortgage. A mortgage, I have a mortgage on my house in the States. Almost anyone has a mortgage when he or she or they buy property. Mortgage is here too. Good. Uh, that is, I want to buy a house. It costs a uh, uh, million dollars. I only have 200000 I have to borrow 800000 That's my mortgage. Uh, but if I can't pay the monthly payments on that house, the bank which lent me the, mother, the money, uh, might foreclose. That is, say, sorry, it's not yours anymore, it's ours. Foregone, uh, always used only in the foregone conclusion, PP, to forego. A foregone conclusion is a conclusion that was reached before the action even began. It was a foregone conclusion uh, that... Uh, uh, Samsung would uh, lose to, uh, what was it, Hyundai, I guess, or something. Forgery. A forgery is an imitation, like counterfeit. A forgery is a signature, that is, someone steals my checkbook and starts writing checks, writing my signature, but it's not my signature, it's his. He's forging my signature. He's guilty of the crime of forgery. Uh, one can commit forgery in other things too. Uh, jewelry, um, a false a criminal imitation. Formidable. Notice the pronunciation, the first, first uh, syllable. Formidable. Formidable, maybe, but formidable is better. A formidable opponent is a very impressive, uh, too impressive, scary opponent. Uh, just use that today too. Fragmentary, related to fragment. Uh, the evidence for that the uh, Greeks had colonies in, uh, in uh, Tunisia is fragmentary. That is, there are only small bits, fragments of information not conclusive. The opposite of fragmentary adjective is conclusive. Frantic. 
Uh, uh, one loses one's wallet, one loses one's child, and one becomes frantic. Oh, where, where, where? Uh, very emotional. One loses self-control. A frigate is a large boat. Uh, I don't know if people use the term anymore. Uh, a large boat, I think, usually for conveying cargo, not a war boat. I don't think. I don't know, though. Frivolity and frivolous. Good words. If I am frivolous, I am silly. If I spend money frivolously, I waste my money. I throw it away. Uh, I'm guilty of frivolity. Uh, someone dies, this is not a moment for frivolity, silliness. Frugal, not spending money, careful with money. Frustrate, uh, key word actually. Uh, this is a verb here. Uh, it frustrates, uh, his, his frivolity frustrates me, meaning uh, I want to be serious and he refuses to be serious. This frustrates me. Uh, I want him to be serious, but he will not be serious. Furtive, great word, related to the Latin word that means thief. Furtive is an adjective which means sneaking around, stealthy, uh, surreptitious. Um, maybe later, surreptitious. Uh, now, a furtive glance. I looked very quickly over there and looked back. A very sneaky, quick, furtive glance. Good word. Futile. Im very important word. Uh, pointless. Having no point. Having no purpose. Uh, for example, perhaps life is futile. Uh, that is, we run around and uh, try to gain this or that advantage in life, but uh, to what purpose? Perhaps none. Gaiety is a noun form of uh, gay. But gay does not refer to uh, a homosexual here. Uh, gaiety is uh, merriment, having fun. To gainsay, excellent word. The quality of these words goes up and down, of course, as, as it must. But many of these words are excellent. To gainsay is almost too good. Uh, to gainsay is to contradict, to deny what one is, someone is saying. Um, gallant means very polite, gentlemanly, usually. To garble is to mix up, mix up. His language, the language on the recording was garbled. Probably the microphone was covered. Unclear, confused. Gaunt, thin. Uh, thin, uh, uh, almost sickly, uh, too thin, unhealthy. Generic really is a word used very often these days, often just to mean general. A generic term, a general term. Uh, it's related to genre, it's related to genus, uh, meaning kind or type, genre of literature, kind or type. Generic is the adjective form of this word. Really, it just means general, of a general type. Genesis, first book in the Old Testament, uh, in the uh, Christian Bible. Uh, it, it means uh, birth. It's from a Greek word. It is a Greek word, actually. Uh, and it means birth or origin of something. In this case, life. Genuine, uh, authentic not phony, not fake, truly real, chinja, something like that. Gigantic, uh, huge, like a giant. Global, having to do with the globe, the world, meaning all over the world, the global e economy. Um, to glut is to fill beyond uh, sufficiency, uh, to fill too much. From that we get the next word. A glutton is a per person who eats so much that it's, it's disgusting. Uh, it's not hunger. Uh, gluttony is one of the seven deadly sins. Uh, I'll tell you about those sometime uh, and discuss those with you. Uh, it's Christian moral thought at its best. 
uh, to gobble is something turkeys do. Uh, gobble, 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 the sound that turkeys make. Uh, probably you've never seen or heard a turkey. Uh, so the most important use here is to gobble up something, uh, to eat quickly, very fast, too fast. Granite is a stone, a very hard stone uh, or rock that probably is in uh, at least beneath the surface of uh, most of the world, I think. Uh, sometimes it's used figuratively and it means just very hard. Uh, his willpower is granite. That is so hard it will not yield. Grateful, gratified. If I am grateful uh, you do something kind for me and I am grateful uh, I thank you and I feel those thanks. Opposite of course ungrateful. Uh, noun also ingrate. He is an ingrate. That's an important one, uh, which probably I bet we don't have, and that's okay. Uh, it's a ingratiate. Interesting. I'll put ingrate here, if it's okay with Dr. Shin. Uh, an ingrate is a person who does not show gratitude, is not grateful, as he should be. Gratified, past participle of to gratify. Gratified is pleased. Uh, all of these words, again, 90% uh, of these words, Latin. Latinate. Gregarious means liking to to stay in a herd, H-E-R-D. Uh, some animals are gregarious, some animals are solitary, some people are gregarious, always found with other people, wanting to be with other people. Some people are more solitary, preferring solitude. To grieve uh, is Strictly speaking, if uh, someone I love dies, I grieve. I mourn for that person. I grieve for him. I grieve, I can, I think VT also grieve his death. But it's also used figuratively, uh, almost humorously. It grieves me to say that uh, Dong Yang this year is a very bad team. Well, this is not grieve, so it's a humorous word also. Grimace, excellent word. A grimace is a facial expression, an expression on my face of pain or oh, grimace in pain, grimace in displeasure. Guileless, excellent word. Innocent, n not guilty of any trickery. A uh, simple, innocent person, a guileless person, like a child. Gullible, believing too readily, too easily. Uh, trusting too much, similar to naive, if we have here, naive, gullible, the same. Uh, what happened? Haggard. Haggard is like gaunt, uh, 20, 20 words earlier. Uh, a person who is haggard is just worn out, exhausted uh, from stress and from physical um, exertion. To have, excellent word, it's the verb form of half. To have, he halved his apple and gave me one half. Cut it in half. To hamper is to hinder, to impede, to instruct, to uh, obstruct, excuse me. Repeating, to hamper is to obstruct, to impede, to uh, hinder. Hampered, past participle. He was hampered by his injury. A harbinger of days of uh, plenty or of glory. Uh, a harbinger is a sign of good things to come, like an omen, but a very positive omen. Haughty, excellent word, meaning arrogant. But it's arrogant in, in, in appearance, uh, a haughty demeanor a haughty way of carrying himself, arrogant. Heathen is a person who does not believe, uh, probably, um, frankly I'm not sure, but I would assume that heathen is close to uh, pagan, and so uh, Americans often misuse this word, I think. There's pagan, good. Uh, a pagan, after all, is a person who worships the forces of nature. Uh, the Japanese, strictly speaking, are pagans. That is, Shintoism is a pagan religion. 
because uh, natural divinities, uh, Mount Iwo and uh, streams and uh, rivers and uh, trees and hills, all these things are are full of uh, the divine. That's pagan. Uh, heathen, I think, has the same meaning. I ought to check. Hedonist, excellent word. A hedonist is a person who believes in the pursuit of pleasure. That is, the only meaning of life is finding pleasure. Um, dangerous kind of person, probably. Uh, the word is used in ethics, meaning uh, simply producing pleasure. So, uh, some uh, ethical thinking, uh, utilitarianism, is based... Okay, we were talking about uh, utilitarianism, uh, a, an ethical theory of uh, 19th century England. Uh, there, hedonism is simply uh, anything designed to produce pleasure rather than pain. In any case, a hedonist is a person who pursues pleasure. Air, notice it's not an aspirated H. An aspirated H is huh, like hedonist. Air is not aspirated like our, uh, one hour, two hours, three hours. We don't say hour, we say our, right? An heir is a person, uh, when I die, my children will be my heirs, that is, they will inherit my worldly goods. A henchman is um, a rough person who accompanies somebody, uh, uh, mafia types, uh, perhaps, uh, who protects the boss. Heredity, of course, is, uh, well, it's a... Uh, we're close to genetics here. Uh, um, heredity is, pff, how do you define it? Uh, what we inherit. But especially, uh, I have blue eyes because uh, my mother had blue eyes. Uh, is that as a result of heredity, I inherit the genes that produce my blue eyes or something like that. Okay. Heretic, excellent. Well, this is Dr. Shin's territory. A heretic is a person who goes against the accepted teachings of a church. Uh, strictly speaking, it's religion, though a person could, I suppose, be a heretic uh, among the Democrats or the Republicans uh, or the Communists, nearly a religion anyway. A heretic is a person who goes against, who opposes the, teaching, the accepted teachings of a church. Heritage. The word is used, uh, I'm proud of my Indian heritage, or my black heritage, or my Korean heritage, or uh, whatever. Um, that is, the ancestors and their accomplishments which went before me. Hermetic is an adjective of hermit. We have hermitage next, too. That's interesting. A hermit is a person who chooses to live alone, who uh, leads a solitary rather than gregarious life. Now, hermetic often is used to be, if something is hermetically sealed in science, it's sealed so tightly that no air can enter it. Uh, it's hermetically sealed. But again, it's from hermit. Hermitage is a place where a hermit lives. Uh, a cave, perhaps. But the Hermitage is the name of the uh, world-famous museum in uh, Leningrad, St. Petersburg, uh, one of the five best museums in the world. Um, hermitage, from the French word. Heterodox. We have Orthodox, I'm sure. Dr. Shin has put it there, I'm sure. No, don't see it. Let's put it there. I, I just mentioned it in connection with heretic. A heretic goes against the orthodox teachings of a group or a church. Um, but we are talking about uh, heterodox. Uh, a person who is, heret is a heretic holds heterodox views. Hetero, other. Dox from a Greek word meaning view, teaching even. Uh, orthodox, correct views according to some church. Heterodox, differing from the accepted view. Heterogeneous, we have the same root, the same prefix here, hetero, other. 
heterogeneous and homogeneous, often mispronounced uh, homogeneous, no, homogeneous, heterogeneous, E-O-U-S. Heterogeneous is mixed. American culture is heterogeneous, made up of many different strands. Korean culture has been, until uh, the 20th century at least, a homogeneous uh, culture, both uh, racially, uh, Koreans marry Koreans, and culturally, aside from um, Chinese influence, to hibernate is literally to spend the winter someplace, from the uh, Latin word meaning winter. Um, bears hibernate. Hindrance is the noun form of to hinder. Uh, a hindrance is an obstacle, something that blocks me from achieving something. Hither, going hither, going there, in that direction. Um, good word. Hither and thither. That way and back. Holster, unworthy here, doesn't belong on this page. A holster, after all, is just uh, the, uh, the fabric, usually, or leather that holds my gun. <laughs> homily. A homily is a sermon. Uh, a sermon about a moral uh, lesson. Um, never used. Homogeneous, we have done all of one kind. Horizon is the line that appears on the edge of, uh, as far as we can see, especially at the sea, when we're at the beach or at the uh, shore, we look in the distance and as far as we can see is the horizon. Horizontal, this way. Vertical, this way. Adjectives. Hostage is a person who is held captive by someone to get something. Uh, the rebels captured the little child and held the child hostage. They demanded that the government release their prisoners. Hostile, not friendly. Hostility, not friendly. Uh, the, he, his, when he entered the room, he felt the hostility of the people in the room. That is, uh, they didn't want him there. They didn't like him. A hurricane is a very violent storm, the most, eh, a very violent storm with very high winds and very destructive. Always uh, on the coast, especially uh, the Gulf of Mexico coast and the east coast of the United States. Hypertension is uh, tension too high, uh, um, overexcitement. Let's see. Hypocrisy, excellent word, uh, difficult too. Normally it's used, it's hypocrisy by the U.S. government to claim that we are the friends of freedom and at the same time to uh, support, I don't know, someone will say it's hypocrisy on our part to, to be so friendly toward China with this communist government and all that. Uh, that's a conservative view, of course. Uh, in any case, Generally, it means saying one thing and, by actions, contradicting what one is saying. Hypodermic has to do with uh, a needle, usually, which uh, will go under the skin. Uh, derm, skin. Um, hypothesis is a theory. Uh, and we will test the hypothesis. That is, it's my hypothesis that, uh, that this pen will fall... Uh, that this light cloth will fall faster than this heavy book. Let's test the hypothesis, theory. Hypothetical, adjective form. Uh, it's all hypothetical uh, to say that, uh, I don't know, something will happen. To predict the, any prediction of the, f any prediction of the future is hypothetical. Iconoclastic, excellent word. Breaking of idols. Uh, his view of uh, the great men of history is iconoclastic. That is, he will find the dirty, nasty, uh, distasteful things that everybody did to shatter the icon, 
the image. Idolize, verb, to adore someone, usually as an idol. I idolize Shakespeare. Ignition, uh, usually in a car, we put the key in and turn the ignition to turn the motor on. Ignoble, excellent word. Opposite of noble. Uh, his behavior toward the enemies, toward his enemies, was ignoble, uh, not noble. Illegible, can't be read. His writing was illegible. Illiterate, two meanings. First of all, an illiterate person cannot read. However, the word is used more often to to say he's illiterate, meaning he has never read anything. Uh, he can read but he reads the sports page and uh, comic books. He's illiterate. Uh, illuminate is to cast light on, to illuminate some subject especially. Uh, uh, no one in the room knows anything about, uh, uh, I don't know what, uh, Malaysian history, and suddenly uh, someone speaks up and says, uh, I will tell you about M Malaysian history and illuminates them or illuminates the topic. An immigrant is a person who comes into a country from another country. Immortal, not subject to death. Um, Shakespeare's fame is immortal. Um, immutable, unchangeable. Uh, what in this world is immutable? Uh, we want things to be immutable, but they're not. To impair is to impede almost the same, to hinder, basically. Impending, ha going to happen very soon. The impending decision for about the presidency of the United States uh, uh, must come soon, uh, going to happen very soon. Uh, the impending doom, uh, the impending execution of the prisoner imperative it's only used as it is imperative that we send a message to our friends it is absolutely necessary of course imperative is a mood in grammar go is in the imperative not mood voice voice uh, subject you understood Grammatically, that there it's a noun. Imper no, it's still an adjective. Imperative voice, imperceptible. It can't be perceived. Um, amoeba are imperceptible. That is so small one can't see them. Now, we could also say his irritation was imperceptible. That is, he smiled, and no one could see that he was annoyed, that he was irritated. Imperceptible. Imperial, adjective form of empire, uh, very good. The imperial throne in the forbidden city in uh, Beijing. Uh, implacable, can't be placated, can't be calmed down. He is the implacable enemy of ignorance. Uh, he will not give up. Uh, he will never stop trying to... to um, change ignorance. To imply is not to say openly, but to hint, to hint. Uh, when he said he, when he said he, he doesn't like, uh, mm, I can't think of a good example. He was, he implied though that he could change his mind. He didn't say it, but he hinted it. An impostor is a person who pretends to be someone else. Uh, I once knew an impostor, uh, a man who pretended to be a scholar of uh, some note. He wasn't the man at all. He was an impostor. Impotent, uh, in a general sense, not potent, that is, not strong. Uh, the word, uh, let's see now. The government seems to be impotent to do anything, uh, to make any changes uh, during this, this economic crisis. Is not strong enough or 
lacks the energy or ability to do something. Of course, the sexual meaning is uh, most famous. Impoverish, a verb almost always used uh, in the past participle, impoverished. Uh, poverty, a uh, state of being poor, indigence. Uh, to impoverish someone is to destroy everything the person has uh, or reduce that person to poverty. Impunity, always used uh, in the sense of uh, he, he gets away with something. That is, uh, he, he, he stole things from his classmates and his classmates knew about it, but he got away with it. He did it with impunity, not punished. Incarnate, uh, more often the adjective uh, form uh, for Christians, uh, Christ is God incarnate. Incarnate means entering into flesh body form. Now it's also used, he is generosity incarnate, meaning he is he is a perfect exemplar, a perfect, a perfect example of generosity. Good one. Incarnation really only has to do with the, the Christian doctrine of, uh, of uh, the, according to the fourth gospel, uh, the Logos uh, with God uh, from the very start uh, becomes flesh uh, and assumes a human identity becoming flesh. Incentive is a noun. Looks like an adjective. It's a noun. He gave me, uh, they gave me many incentives uh, to to perform well. That is, uh, they told me, look, if you do this, you will win, you will be famous, you will be rich or something. All these incentives. They gave me incentives. That is, encouragement and the promise of receiving something. Incinerate, verb, to reduce to ashes. Incisive, cutting. An incisive criticism cuts through all the nonsense straight to the, the essence of the matter. An incisive view of things uh, does not remain on the superficial uh, level but cuts into the essence of things. Cutting into. Inclination is incline. Uh, his inclination to be lazy, his inclination to be indifferent uh, when he should take sides and make choices uh, is regrettable. Uh, his tendency, inclination is tendency. Incoherent, adjective, excellent. If my arguments are incoherent, they do not hold together, they do not cohere. They, uh, I skip around, I do not argue in a consistent or uh, uh, sequential, clear way. Incorrigible, can't be corrupted. He's an incorrigible liar. He lies and he can't stop lying. Incorrigible. Usually it's used humorously, though, not so seriously. Incriminating evidence is evidence that uh, seems to prove that someone did something terrible, something criminal. Uh, the, the testimony of the witness was very incriminating. It incriminated him. It seemed to prove that, yes, he committed that crime. To incur is to cause. Uh, the accident incurred great uh, damage, caused great damage, or the uh, crisis incurred great expense on the part of various people, caused them to have to spend a lot of money. Indemnity is basically constant compensation, paying someone back for damage done. Indigo is a color I think is very light purple, I'm not sure. Indolent means lazy. Ineffable, wonderful word, can't be described. Uh, all serious religious experience perhaps is ineffable. Uh, mysticism, mystical experiences are ineffable. Love is perhaps, in, not perhaps, is ineffable. 
uh, life itself. <laughs> inept, excellent word, incompetent. Uh, he is so inept, meaning he can't do perhaps anything, or he can't do something well. Uh, I'm an inept uh, uh, guy around the house. Uh, that is, there's nothing much I can fix. I don't know how to do things very well. Um, inept. Inexact, imprecise, not exact, not precise. The, his estimates are inexact, not precise. Infidel is a person who does not believe. Uh, so really this is the better word than heathen or pagan from before because heathen and pagans do believe in something an infidel does not believe in whatever we're talking about uh, the Muslims used to want to uh, kill or convert all the infidels uh, the Christians wanted to do the same thing Buddhism has been happily uh, free of this uh, Western trait to infiltrate is to penetrate into especially a group. A spy from South Korea infiltrates uh, the North Korean society. Uh, he's an imposter. He pretends to be something, uh, their friend, and he enters into their administration. Infirmary is usually a place uh, where a nurse is usually, uh, where people go can go for for slight injuries, not serious. Inflict is to cause, inflict damage, cause damage. Uh, the hurricane inflicted huge damage on um, Florida, let's say. Informity. Informity. What's informity? Somehow this looks very strange to me. I don't know informity. I'm lost. I'll check that. Never seen it, I think, unless I'm tired. Infringe. To infringe upon someone's rights is to invade, to violate that person's rights, to infringe upon someone's rights, usually. Ingrate, I have marked here, we mentioned before, a person who does not show gratitude. To ingratiate is an excellent word. Uh, I flattered him uh, or them in an effort to ingratiate myself. It's one of the few verbs that's you that are used uh, reflexively in the English language. Um, uh, there aren't many many verbs that are used uh, primarily reflexively. Um, that is, I see myself. You see yourself, he sees himself. Other languages, French, Italian, German, uh, all European languages, are full of these reflexive verbs. English has none. But I think uh, to ingratiate oneself with a group that is to try to win their friendship, their admiration, um, very good. To inhale is to breathe in. To inhale the poisonous gas, terrible. Inherent is inborn. The inherent traits of uh, human beings are um, whatever the traits are. What are our inherent traits? Uh, traits we're born with. Uh, um, I'm not sure what they are, though. Inimical. Hostile. Uh, he was inimical to any suggestion that uh, he had done something wrong hostile. Iniquity, wickedness, Old Testament translation word, King James anyway, wickedness, the sins and wickedness of uh, contemporary secular society. Inject, to usually put in, in insert, uh, to introduce into the blood uh, by a needle to inject, but you can also inject some humor into uh, a discussion. If a discussion becomes a little too heated, too passionate, uh, someone might make a joke to try to inject some humor into the discussion and uh, um, make p calm people down a little bit. Innate is the same as inherent, inborn. Uh, innate traits, inborn traits. Innocent, not guilty, often meaning simple. Uh, simple-minded even. Innocuous, excellent word. 
Excellent word, harmless. Uh, his humor is innocuous, that is, he's silly, he's frivolous, but he causes no harm. Innovate is to um, begin a new practice. Um, boy, I still go back to informity. I've never seen that word. Um, really wonder about that. Um, to um, innovate, okay. Innovative, the adjective often used. That is, uh, uh, maybe Hyundai is very innovative in its uh, in its ideas about cars for the future. They uh, think of many new ideas, and innovation is something new. Input, not a very good word, kind of a computer business word, uh, uh, often used, uh, we can do without your input, that is, uh, the, two, the parents are having an argument about something and the child says something, uh, your input, that is, whatever you say, is not welcome. Insane, not sane, not rational, not apparently incapable of rationality. Um, sometimes we use it very loosely to mean, oh, uh, the, our spending is insane, meaning we spend so much money in, in a wild, irresponsible way, it's insane, not rational. To insinuate is normally meant to imply. Um, same thing, uh, not to say openly, but to imply, usually something evil. He insinuated that I had stolen the his watch he didn't say it he insinuated it insolence rude behavior uh, rude haughty behavior remember haughty arrogant that's insolence insolent adjective insoluble and insoluble dilemma can't be solved can't be resolved uh, an insoluble substance uh, you put it in water, you put it in liquid, but it will not melt, it will not disintegrate. It's insoluble. It cannot be assimilated into the um, its surroundings. Insolvent, often used financially, he became insolvent, that is, he lost all his money, he could not pay his debts, uh, he became insolvent. An insomniac uh, cannot fall asleep, uh, a terrible condition, uh, uh, even if exhausted, uh, cannot sleep habitually. Inspection, to inspect, is to examine closely. Uh, the car, every car must pass inspection every year or two. Uh, that is, uh, the experts look at it and say, yes, this car is okay for the road, or no, this is not uh, a, a good car. To instill is to fill with something. Uh, my parents or his parents instilled in him a sense of the of the dignity of all human beings. Intact, that is, it still it's it has not been compromised. His honor, his innocence, even is intact, meaning he has never done anything to betray his uh, honor and goodness. Intangible, you can't touch it. Uh, love, justice, these are intangibles. Abstract, intangibles, untouchable. To interject something, uh, kind of like inject, inject humor, to interject s some comment is to throw it in, literally, uh, into the discussion. Uh, he interjected an observation about uh, some recent event. An interlude, uh, literally, it's the play between. An interlude it used to be uh, a farce even, a comic uh, clown scene uh, between the acts of a serious play. Interpose, very good. Uh, he interposed his objections, that is, he put into the discussion, his objections, but never used. Intervene is a good word. Uh, the police intervened before the fight became too serious, before someone was really hurt. 
intervention. Now informed, the intervention of the police was timely and um, appreciated. Intimate, close. Two people become intimate uh, friends. Um, they share everything. Uh, they know everything about each other. He is my he or she is my intimate friend. Can mean sexually um, um, active. Intimidation is uh, inspiring fear. The intimidation uh, of the the noun is very rare. I was intimidated by his hostile glance or stare. He stared at me and I felt uncomfortable and timid and afraid. Uh, I will not tolerate your intimidation. I will not tolerate your attempts to uh, frighten me. Intolerant, uh, a person who is intolerant uh, is narrow-minded, um, will accept only one way of doing things, one um, style of behavior, one moral code, um, one religious belief. Intractable, can't be led. Uh, an intractable person, uh, intractable, will not uh, accept criticism, will not accept instruction, uh, insists on doing things his way. Intravenous, nor IV, short, in the hospital, if I'm very sick or very badly hurt, uh, they introduce, in the hospital, they introduce uh, some liquid or uh, blood or uh, medicine into my veins through an IV or intravenous into the vein. Intrigue, the word is, is a noun, it's also a verb. The verb is more common. Uh, if something intrigues me, it arouses my curiosity. Uh, the, I don't know, uh, let's say uh, Jesa. Uh, I've never seen Jesa, but it intrigues me. It arouses my curiosity. An introvert, opposite of extrovert, an introvert is always looking in, uh, is probably solitary, uh, not gregarious, uh, a, a lonely person who is not necessarily lonely, maybe likes, prefers life that way. Inundate is to literally put under waves. Uh, the town on the seashore was inundated, uh, that is, the sea covered it, literally. Now, it's often used figuratively, he was inundated with mail. After his appearance on TV, he was inundated with mail. That is, people sent letters to him, thousands. Invalid, noun, a person who cannot walk. Invalid, adjective, opposite of valid. Two different pronunciations, same spelling. Homonyms, I think such creatures are called, same spelling. Invaluable, interesting word. It really means very valuable. His assistance was invaluable. It looks like it means not valuable. Instead, it means very valuable. Uh, the way this works is, if, it was invalu if it's invaluable, it's inestimable. It can't be estimated. It's beyond estimation. Inestimable, excellently, excellent word too, invaluable also. Invective is harsh language. Uh, the invective used by the political opponents um, was, made people uncomfortable. To inveigle is to trick, to dupe. Uh, the public was inveigled by this scheme to make money. Tricked, duped. Invigorating. The fresh air that entered the room was invigorating. That is, uh, the room was hot and stuffy. Uh, they opened a window and the fresh air was invigorating. It, made, it gave us vigor, vitality, energy. His involvement in the scandal uh, broke her heart. That is, he was involved in some bad behavior and when she learned this, it destroyed her. He was involved. He was part of some scandalous behavior. Irrelevant, 
unrelated to whatever is being talked about or whatever is going on. Um, you and I are talking about uh, Korean politics and suddenly someone says uh, that uh, Dongyang won yesterday. That's irrelevant. <laughs> to irritate, of course, is literally to irritate the skin. Uh, a fly or a mosquito irritates the skin. Want, we want to scratch it. His comments were irritating, irritated me, vexed me, annoyed me. Isolated, uh, alone, cut off from everyone. Now, this can be, uh, for example, an interesting use is an isolated event. No one had ever seen him treat people rudely. Uh, his treatment of uh, that little girl was so shocking, but it was an isolated event. It never happened. It had never happened before, and it has not happened since. Jargon is the special language of some field, be it uh, medicine, be it law, be it um, any field, literature. Uh, notice my "be it" that subjunctive "be it." Jaunty, energetic, feeling very good. Uh, he walked along with a jaunty step. Um, to jeer is to mock, make fun of. Um, the public jeered at him or jeered him. A jester is a clown, a court jester in a medieval uh, and Renaissance court, wore the silly hat, danced around, did, did tricks, made people laugh. To jest is much more important. To jest is to tell a joke. Uh, jest is a really important word. I would suggest jester is not so important, in my opinion. Jovial, happy, uh, it's actually from Jupiter, Jove, no, another name of Jupiter, Latin is Jove. Jovial is happy, um, happy and generous. Jubilee, our last word, is a celebration, usually at the end of some large number of years, 50 or 100 years. Uh, or a thousand even, uh, a celebration of that big anniversary. Is it okay?